Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. We're at Clear Audio's 45th anniversary party that they're having here at the factory. And you can imagine what kind of uh, effort has to go into preparing something like this. You know, usually you hire an event planner. They didn't hire an event planner. They did it all inside. All inside by themselves, which is a lot of work, especially when you're trying to run a factory and make products. But that's what they've done. So now we're outside, and they're they're preparing a a big a big lunch for everybody. And there are people here from all over the world, uh, all the Clear Audio dealers, distributors. And last night at dinner, it was uh, it was akin to being at the United Nations with more honesty and less fighting. And there's going to be a stage here. I guess there's going to be music. I'll show you what's held in th the highest uh, degree of importance is, is this. This is very serious. Hey there. Very serious uh, beer apparatus here. And of course, there's the drug sniffing dog. The drug sniffing dog has come up with a lot of stuff to sniff. You smell all my doggies? You smell them all? Poor dogs. Don't eat my microphone. So here we have um, various stations where we have various products which, which are being um, uh, manufactured. Here we have a, like a setup station for the concept tone line. This is when the, uh, when the tone line is being finished. We have all parameters preset, so uh, set up for the cartridge is really, really uh, easy and fast. And then these tone arms being transferred into the next department uh, for the concept turntable manufacturing. This is the, usually the station where we produce the financial tone arms. And uh, here you see an older model which just was brought today for service. So we will do it during these days and then bring it to the show in Munich to the beloved distributor who brought it to us today. And here we just have a little setup of, of some parts which are being used in a tangential tone arm. <coughs> es ist extra vorbereitet, einfach um zu sehen, wie viele Bauteile dort sind. It's especially the made that you see that what, uh, how many parts are being, being, being used uh, to... But these are all parts which are already finished, machined. Um, so there is, of course, much more before until it's on the table. And here we have a station which, where we will have a, uh, also a little seminar uh, today or workshop. Um, this is how to set up the sapphire bearings. <coughs> and this cannot be done by a machine. This, also this, this is Handarbeit. Um, Pia is here over 10 years by us. It cannot be done by a machine. Yes. Yes. Only women do this job. I've yes. seen that. Yes. Yes. All over the world. It's yes. Only women, women do this have precise. A touch. Ja. Pia ist äh, seit 20 Jahren äh, bei uns und ist im Prinzip eigentlich ähm, Königin äh, der Saphire, könnte man sagen, oder? Königin auf Saphire, wow. Ja. Das ist, erfordert wirklich einfach, das ist Erfahrung, you need uh, experience and, touch. and the touch. Ja. And, ist einer fertig? Den, Den habe ich gerade beenden lassen, der ist eingeklebt auf. Okay, so there's, there is uh, now uh, this metal glue already inserted, but I give this to you and you feel there is no play whatsoever, but still it needs mm. it to swing freely. Um, <coughs> at, least, at least 12 times we have a, a testing station, of course, separately, but this is the first pre-test so that you know, okay, everything works fine. And then you, you need just... To touch it, feel it, I just pass it through so that you, that you see that there is no play in the bearing whatsoever. I'll, take, this his, is I'll take his word yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Polity control didn't pass. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll even take his word for it. <laughs> but it's the heart of the toner. Mm -hmm. So if this, if, if, if you have a little play whatsoever, you will have resonances, distortions. Everything is done by hand. Everything is done manually. I'm, I'm talking to, 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 I'
Not at all. <laughs> There's a guy working here. Should we trust him? Yes, yes. This is Nikita. Nikita um, is uh, in a trainee program for three years. And after that, he will be a fine mechanic. All right. Yes. Uh, you, pa uh, you have already the Prüfung gemacht? Yeah, the Zwischenprüfung. The Prüfung. He passed the middle uh, exam and he passed. Uh, yeah. with, uh, um, what was the Durchschnittsnote? Um, you have it A, B, C, D, I think, in, in, in uh, the grades. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he has a B. This is, this is a bearing specially used in the universe. Is that A or B? A or B? What we do, we have two bearings um, in, the, in the vertical uh, area, so it's much more stiffer uh, in general. But it's, it's very complicated to align two bearings um, to, to be perfectly without any, how do, how do we say, wow. Yes. And in these days, uh, we are very lucky because we do produce tone arms as well for, for other manufacturers. Some you know, some you don't know that we produce them. These tone you don't see here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Later in the workshop, we have also a, a, an optical testing station here, which we will uh, explain you and show you. But um, I need to take the group with me. So we go into the ah, Do you have your, your packs with you? Because we will quickly go in the laser station, you uh, put on the post-it your name, we can do it also later, don't worry, and uh, then they will engrave it and, uh, and we will hand it out to you later. The electronic abteilung, auch, auch here we have we have uh, two a two areas in, in the in the other room. You can have a quick look later. Um, there we are building um, the actual parts. We get to the, the the main boards and everything is being sent to us, <coughs> and then we assembling everything in in the other room, uh, testing it and packing it. And uh, Peter, Peter is now the the chief of the electronic yeah. manufacturing yes. department. He's also uh, it's a nice it's a nice example. He he started the training program three years and then um, he went on. And now how many years are you working for us now already? Five and a half years. Five and a half years already. Oh. So this is this is uh, important for us to to grow um, uh, to have an internal grow of of um, employees um, because. It's not easy to find to find uh, people uh, working for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's it's not easy to find um, the, the right, right people, people. Um, which fit in our family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, I think <coughs> do you do you think you made the the right choice or or? So as well, uh, you see the, now various different other parts. We we have friends and, and customers who bring um, amplifiers, and you, you, in the front you see an old Yamaha turntable and and, and see even CD player, which was repaired it's just at the uh, front there. The the <coughs> Yamaha turntable uh, was completely revised. Um, uh, the bearing was 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 um, uh, polished again. Uh, new grease, new belt. Uh, the cartridge the cartridge was was in a uh, total disaster. Um, so uh, it was it ex exchanged. Um, you do that for friends. You don't do that as part of your business, though, do you? It's not part of our business, no, but <laughs> but it's more and more people uh, come from friends and. Mm, wow. and um, Yes, you do not charge the the real amount because uh, only in in that turntable uh, they they spent more than three or four hours just to to yeah. to get it run. And if you charge the normal hour rate, that that would not make really sense for that turntable. But the customer is, is very happy because he can use it, sure. and and he already has a turn a Claudio turntable. This is like uh, for his uh, home office, so that yeah. he still can play some records. <clears throat> but uh, Every turntable which which stays alive um, 
uh, brings brings uh, happiness. Uh, That's right. Yes. Yes. So in the in the other room, you can have a quick look. There's, uh, I think you have pre uh, you're preparing currently uh, smart powers. Smart powers. Yeah. Smart power, um, this these are battery powered supplies for for turntables, which are uh, getting more and more important because when you have a, um, a household and you have a lot of computers and and and. Wie heißen die Steckernetzteile, die Switching Power, Switching Power Supplies? It's a total disaster. Oh la la. It's really. Or if you have this Devolo Power Lan. Power Lan. This is. We had we had a customer. He called us. Your turntable is is humming. Suddenly. We said, okay. So it goes back and forward, and it's difficult to say from 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 far away. Uh, so now the first question is: What did you change? Um, did you have? Do you have a new router or a new Wi-Fi? Yes, I have a new Wi-Fi. Oh. So sw uh, switch it off. Oh, the hum is gone. <laughs> so, yeah, now you know where your problem yep. is. <laughs> <coughs> um, this is uh, for for uh, inserting uh, small board uh, stuffing. Yes. <laughs> this is also, uh, of course. This could be mistaken. These are these, these are uh, my amplifiers and and and, and preamplifier. But this is the service station. All uh, from all the world. The service is being um, uh, checked here first, and then either exchanged, repaired, or uh, whatsoever. This is this is a part of the OEM production. Um, this might be very interesting for you because uh, these are our friends from America. Right, uh, Macintosh. So, uh -huh. I've got to do your. Which I can take pictures. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, here we here we built the NT5. What's this, Mike? Mike and Dosh. So, <coughs> with Mike and Dosh, we have a long uh, relationship already, uh, more than 15 years we work together. and. Um, Charlie um, and, and me, we were sitting down in Las Vegas table, um, and he wanted the VU meters. So that's how we started with the MT10, yeah. which has the VU meters, uh, which is indicating the speed yeah. and, and the power on. That was the first tent. And it, it's, it's still hitting, and, and, and Macintosh is very happy. Yeah. Um, we're still building it um, in, in really good numbers. And then... We, we uh, came up with a um, MT5 and then the MT2. I reviewed the MT2. Yes, it's very good. It's, it's a it's a really nice turntable nice. for yeah. and the price per value is is yes. it's, uh, it's amazing and made in Germany, and they even even I think it's even stated it's that, that um, manufactured in Germany, designed in USA. Huh? There you go. <coughs> Proudly produced in Germany. So, but that's really. Um, here we, we we had especially in the in the pandemic we had we had a lot of trouble to to keep the numbers because uh, uh, the sales went up uh, quite dramatically uh, in in a positive way. And supply of parts <laughs> went down. And supply parts went down. Yeah, and prices went up. It's of course. It's, it's a nightmare. It, this is a nightmare to be a manufacturer in these days. And, and here you see on the on the banner. This is this is the um, now the uh, OEM uh, manufacturing. There we have um, really uh, big and longer uh, production uh, tables. Wow. So you can produce from each type uh, of turntable. You can produce 50 pieces at once uh, uh, per line. Hmm? This is 10 low. Yeah, 10 low. Yeah. This is these are various production lines. Um, Marcos is also a newbie. Um, yeah. how, long, how long you are now with us? Half a year. Half a year. Half a year. And uh, you still like it? <laughs> Wait for a year. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk again in a year, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back. Now, he's, he's a, a fine mechanic, and he's, he's now as well in charge of um, building the Jubilee turntable. Um, what you see here is, is various stages um, of, uh, oh, in, in the building, uh, in the building process. And uh, these white mats, which you see um, in the next in the next one, these are <coughs> resonance mats. Ralf, can you give me a So this is this is a so-called <coughs> resonance mat. Harbor phone. Maybe some know it from the speaker manufacturers. 
if you if you put this in the, in the chat up here. <sighs> so it's like one thousand steel bolts per cabinet, oh. and so when the resonances um, enter here, they will transfer it into heat. It's being transferred. The energy is being used. So practically, you can kill resonances. Um, yeah. in a very big range. Um, that's oh, and it's, it's heavy as well, yeah, yeah. Is that lead, lead shot in there? Uh, no, it's, uh, lead is not allowed anymore. I wouldn't um, think so, yeah. It's, it's uh, steel. 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 So if you open it and if you're in... Uh, and water them, they will rust. That's why they're... Uh, sealed. Sealed. <laughs> I just pass this through so that you that you know this is really this is heavy duty. Uh, the the panzer holes which we use. Yeah, these are all the various chassis. Is this all those panzer holes? Yeah, all this. So like all this panzer holes. Yeah. Where's that wood sourced from? This is a this is a technical wood, um, which is. Um, various uh, layers of hardwood um, glued together and pressed under 60 uh, tons. 60 tons? 60 tons, yeah. yes. So, so the, the big advantage of the Panzerholz is <coughs> that it's uh, not reacting on temperature or humidity. Um, plus when you machine it, uh, it's as hard as steel. Yeah. Um, and as well, it, it kills resonances extremely fast. That's why we're using it as a, as a material for, for turntable chassis in our higher, higher models. <coughs> And, and you can make measurements and you can uh, make listening tests, um, really an MDF chassis and then a Panzerholz chassis, you will hear immediately uh, the, the differences. It's, that's why we use it. Yeah. Okay, on the next level you see, um, this is reproduction, because this is a statement um, being prepared here. Here we, you see the... <coughs> So, yeah. so uh, this is like the, the main chassis um, of, of one statement, uh, which you see, which you see here, uh, being being put together. Die ganze Zeit. Okay. Uh, here we have uh, stations later for the workshops where we want to show you how we do certain setups for anti-skating and, and so on, where you can do easy uh, setups with uh, small pocket um, oscilloscopes as well, <clears throat> because these are things which are mandatory in, um, in in setting up. I don't have to tell you. No. Um, and as as better you you make the setups. <clears throat> There's less distortions you have during the tracking, and this is such a quality improvement. Um, you can't do it by ear. No, you no, gotta no, measure. no. You have, you have to at a certain level. You can go with your ears to a certain level, but then you need uh, tools for for that. And when you do it, people hear it. Yes, they hear it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> so here you see various uh, setups of. Um, this is a very special. Um, solution um, uh, innovation compact uh, model. This is specially made now uh, in acrylic as a heritage for our French distributor. So, so this is our distributor who will celebrate this year 50th anniversary. So <coughs> that's that's amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Top secret new design. Uh, no, not really. No? <laughs> we'll say that anyway. <laughs> so here this is computer aided uh, design and, 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 and uh, uh, in conjunction with the R&D department. Uh, here we do um, certain drawings, showing certain tests, certain Certain things uh, being uh, being modeled, being uh, drawn. Um, currently, uh, yeah, to, he just opened a picture of the statement uh, uh, setup, <coughs> and 
Here we do the 2D uh, drawings, uh, which, which are needed later for the manufacturing as well and for the manufacturing departments. Um, How many countries do you, do you sell products in? Uh, 85 or 86. 85? Yes, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, worldwide. This is, but you, you see just a fraction uh, of our distributors uh, down, yeah. uh, out, th out there. Um, but as I said, the, the, the export is, is our backbone and uh, it's really important. Um, and this, uh, ab this ma makes it possible that we have higher production runs. Sure. Uh, and and uh, then you can produce certain parts and things maybe cost uh, cost wise in in a better way. Here, um, the concept uh, turntable is produced in various stations. Uh, Robert, Robert is now, Jesus, how, how many years are you with us? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. And uh, the, the very nice thing is Robert is and was always an audiophile. And, and his dream came through uh, working uh, and uh, in an audiophile company. He usually comes from the uh, sales, right? From the retail side. And, and entered to us. And um, it's, a, it's a great combination. Robert, thank you for another 10 years. Here we have, here we have the, the plywood uh, chassis or the MDF chassis. Um, that's, the, the, of course, the, 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 the plywood chassis is more expensive. Um, the natural wood also, you can see the, the, the lacquering, the machining, it's, it's really uh, immaculate. Uh, this is done by a company uh, nearby in Coburg. It's a, it's a wood manufacturer and uh, being supplied to us then. Yeah, more than 20,000 pieces being sold so far. Wow. Um, and uh, Robert is, is one big part of that. How many <laughs> years is in the market this model? Uh, it's more than 10 years, a little bit more than 10 years, yeah. So here, each stage um, of building that turntable uh, is, is handmade, it's, it's, it's all la labor. Um, so you can pr you produce uh, usually 30 pieces per run, right? Yes, between 30 and 40 pieces per uh, per run. Um, How long does it take to come up with the idea of a, of a new turntable design and then mm -hmm. implement it? You know, do, do yeah. a prototype and then put it into production. Is it a couple of years? Yes, usually that process is between one and two years. Okay. Yeah. That's from let's say from the drawings from the scratch into the prototyping, into the testing. And then you have these days, and this is quite a hold up, you have uh, to get all the measurements for the, for the UL certification, CE certification, KT certification, and, and, and CCC for, for China. So that's, that's uh, also a few months uh, which, which needed. Are you showing us anything new that you're working on? That yes, yeah, you're going to show us. You, new? Yes, yeah. you will see uh, some news upstairs. Absolutely, okay. don't worry. Und die Fahndung nimmt das und kann richtig festbeißen und macht die Kanten einfach nicht kaputt und dann kann sie den Teil bearbeiten weiter. Ja, deswegen kommen die vor der Fahndung. Robert, schau mal, der kommt in die Fahne ja, später. Genau. Ja, genau. This one is, is, is being uh, um, magnetized. Uh, no, no, this one is part being a uh, drum, uh, drum, 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 Polish drum, polished. Oh, okay. yes. This is, you can touch uh, with your finger. You, you see the edges are sharp. Yes. Yeah, and this one is, that's how it's yep. feeling after okay. being uh, drum polished. Yep. So and, and he's uh, in charge of all parts which are coming from the CNC uh, machinery. Wojtek, Entschuldige, yeah. danke. Oh, danke schön. Here we are. So these are parts which come out. This is a 5 axle CNC. Uh, milling machine, 
that you can see that this looks quite impressive uh, yeah. as a part. What part is that? This part uh, I can't tell you because this is for another um, OEM manufacturing. <laughs> But do you manufacture but parts for companies that don't like make turntables, like for cylinder. other industries? As well, yes. Yeah. yeah. Looks like a cylinder for an yeah. engine. But this is maybe nice. This is this is like the, the cartridge body of a Da Vinci. Yeah. And this is how it how it's how it's like in the raw process in the beginning. Or or a cap for for a tone arm. But these are all high precision uh, parts. Uh, and some machines are even able to have a Wiederholgenauigkeit, a, a um, return, repeat, con repeat constant, con constant yeah. continuity of uh, 0 0.001 oh. for 1,000 pieces. That's how precise certain machines are. So what kind of investment is in this room? Millions of dollars? Right? Oh, yes, yes. You have, you have usually a machine is about 250,000 uh, plus the tools. The tools are another 250,000. Yeah. So this is like um, a tool, a motorized tool from two sides, which is being uh, implemented in the machine. And a tool like this can be between 10 to 18,000 euro. Plus the tool, the tools. Uh, you, have, you have special tools. Uh, and on some parts we even use tools with uh, diamond diamond plates. So one little um, uh, tool can be up to 2,000 euro for a diamond cutting tool. Yes. Uh, so they they last longer on, on certain, but with the special diamond cutting tools you can make uh, this high polished surfaces as well. When we do the edging on on the on the tone arm base, you can you can do a high polished. Um, uh, edge. So, and uh, this is like um, a collection. A collection. Yeah. One part in the in the um, cupboards over there. There is even more. So here you can see uh, three hundred thousand euro. Oh. <laughs> yes. This this is my this is this 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 is the so-called mus so, musket so, here. So because you need to take out uh, parts of the machine because this is very sharp. And everything is being, of course, recycled. Yes, of course. Which, which brings me later to a green point. <laughs> These are motor housings for NT10. Okay. The Wall of Fame. Just a brief interruption, esteemed viewers. As you may know, I'm Tom Martin, Chief Content Officer of The Absolute Sound. We have a new product. It's on the Substack platform, and we're going to do some interesting things with Substack, first of which is reader questions and answers. Each Monday, readers will submit questions, we'll pick the most interesting ones, and we'll answer the questions on Friday. We'll also have early access to articles and special blogs that don't appear anywhere else. We hope you'll join us. It's only a cost of a cup of coffee per month. Just check on the screen or in the show notes below. Thanks, and now back to the show. <laughs> okay, so this, uh, yes, this, this, uh, these are various uh, models in various colors um, and here later we have a workshop showing you that's why we have these machines with uh, open um, uh, vis visible tanks so we will show you what's, what's happening when you are using the wrong fluids <laughs> and to add it's also important to use the right fluid because if you don't have the right mixture of alcohol and, and, and detergents uh, then you have not that cleaning um, uh, perfection which which you need um, in a record. So here you see uh, parts. This is habt ihr hier? Das ist von der von der Doppelmatrix, no? So 
This is the double matrix. These are all all parts which are being um, uh, built in in a, in a double matrix. Um, this shows you this machine is sold for 5,000 euro. So meanwhile, yes. Mm? One started three nights. Yes, yes. But it's a lot of parts and it's a lot of mechanical work. Work. So. Mrs. Lux is already is. <laughs> yes. um, this is uh, another nice story. Uh, you remember in the electronic department, Peter? His last name is Lux. It's not a husband. No. <laughs> it's my son. It's, uh, it's my son. <laughs> Second generation. Yes. So this is maybe also nice. Um, It's nice, huh? it's impressive. Yeah. It's, uh, but it's important to understand that, that uh, there is so much behind it. It needs to, it needs to be put together and, and then of course everything needs to fit and finish. It's not that and, easy. And keep moving after years of doing that. Yes. Record cleaning is one of the most important parts which, which, you, which you need when you have uh, analog playback because it's improving uh, the sound depending on the dirt level of the record dramatically, dramatically, dramatically. <laughs> Here we, we, here we do um, a lot of the 3D printing and, and, and pre-designing. Now, uh, Seriosha is printing strange things. I think he, he just wants to show the complexity um, of, uh, of the detail. This, this department is quite new um, for us because now, and you will see it on the, on the Toram, now you can really be much faster in, in, in prototyping. Because really you, you, you see and feel and touch the, the product uh, much earlier. <laughs> now, now, we, now we are entering the world of diamonds. <laughs> so this is like a um, production uh, of various um, moving coil now and then moving <coughs> magnet cartridges. Natasha is um, expert, is expert uh, um, <laughs> and she's, she's polishing now the silver inlay on, on the Charisma cartridge. Uh, later later um, she will show how to polish and then you can, and then you can try it by yourself. This is how it looks uh, in the beginning and this is how it looks in the, at the end. So I think it's quite impressive. Will it stay shiny like that over time? It will stay shiny, yes, because it's it's a silver alloy. Uh, the cartridge uh, body is made out of uh, ebony wood. This is uh, being uh, machined by a small company um, in the next village, um, uh, Bubenreuth. And Bubenreuth is known for the violin makers. Ah. So this is coming from a company who is who's doing uh, the, the bows for, for violins. And, and the machining is excellent. So here, you on the on the microscope, you see uh, various coils. Uh, just uh, on the left is a is a copper coil, um, and on the right, it's a gold coil. So you can clearly see uh, first by, by color the, the the difference. But these are the smallest uh, air air wind gold coils uh, being produced. Later in the workshop, you you will be allowed to wind your own coils. Awesome! <laughs> I will never want to hear the cartridge made from those coils, but that would be. 
here is a lot of heart and a lot of experience in the department. To be a, a cartridge expert, you either need to be a um, super fine mechanic or a watchmaker. And here you see uh, how Christian is uh, making the, the, the coil winding. Now we use, uh, for show purposes, the copper, copper wire. Was hast du jetzt vorbereitet? The best results you get uh, with a um, with a tangential tone arm, of course. And here, what you see is. Uh, one of the first prototypes of the Jubilee diamond, of the diamond Jubilee, a new moving coil cartridge with an optimized uh, magnet field, uh, with optimized coils and coil shape in the, in the, in the um, cartridge uh, mounting. Uh, and with a, uh, it's going to be a new cantilever material, which we don't, cannot uh, say currently. But uh, this is uh, going to be our top of the line moving coil cartridge. Really? Yes. Twenty five thousand euros, I heard. Yes. You're not using that one piece diamond stylus cantilever, are you? That's out there, you know. I know, I know, but but. You're not, you're not saying if you're using it, okay? <laughs> but but we we will have uh, we're working on a, on on some damping um, elements as well on the on the cantilever, which is very tricky because. Uh, especially during trekking, uh, you have a certain resonance um, in a certain uh, area and this we try to kill or el eliminate. And this stage is still not really finished. Because without adding too much mass to it, that, this is, that, that's, this is the, that's issue. the problem. Yes. Yeah. It would be uh, the best no mass at all, yeah. but it's not possible. So, yeah. so you need to find the right uh, uh, ratio between uh, damping and, and, um, and, and weight. Yeah. Every cartridge, every moving magnet, every moving coil cartridge, every cartridge is being measured and, and uh, put in, in, in categories. And of course, for the for the high ticket, uh, for the high performance uh, moving coil cartridges, uh, you need um, between three to four days uh, work time to finish one piece. Yeah. Yes. So, and this is a result in the price as well, and the materials which 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 we yeah. use. So. Uh, the coal winding you have already, uh, this, is, yep. uh, this is the second coal winding, this is for moving magnet uh, coils, this is semi-automatic, so this is much, uh, much faster. Yes, preach the gospel, preach the gospel. <laughs> What's impressive is how many different skill sets that you do here, how many, you know, cartridges and turntables and tone arms and everything else. Turntables, cleaning machines, photo stages. Forty-five. And who manufactures your belts? Uh, we have our own molding and we manufacture them by our, ourselves. Oh. We have made our own moldings oh. and, and uh, a company, uh, who, an injection mold uh, company is producing it for us. We are not producing it in-house, but we have our own moldings. Which is uh, a stupid idea in the beginning because it's very cost intensive. But on the other side, uh, you can, you can uh, work on different material mixes. We usually have a higher um, amount of, of silicone. In, in, in the belt, which is not easy to manage because you have to make the right mixture, which is of course propriety. We have we have certain uh, knowledges over over the years uh, where we know you don't need a patent because it's like Coca Cola. You have the recipe in the in the safe, and uh, there it stays, and nobody will see it. This shows you uh, what Sariosha explained. How deep we go into in, into the level of, of, of mm -hmm. detail, detail, uh, trying to find 
more ways uh, of improvements and, and possibilities. Yeah. The nice thing is, um, can you measure? Um, can you me also measure cer certain things with the different pulleys? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, let's go in front of the showroom. I will show you the the new products, and then we, uh, if the showroom is free, we can listen a little bit, little bit music, or we go and have some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're later on the day. So, we will show you the new concept signature um, with a with a new um, uh, decoder uh, push button. You will have possibilities to set the speed with a with a uh, combination of, of of push. Here you have the speed indication, uh, and this is already prepared for the volume control later as an indication uh, for the concept active. That's, that's why you started this. The new uh, motor control uh, and this is the tachymeter with a new pulley, optimized pulley shape and the new um, um, suspension, suspended um, motor units. <coughs> the, the electronics is the, it's a digital analog um, uh, board which Marco will explain later in the, in the workshop how it, how it works. It was quite interesting because it, it has a self-calibration built in. So the, even the wear and tear uh, of, of the belt is, is being um, uh, uh, calculated. calculated. So this will be coming end of the year. Um, a, lot, a lot to see. So, and of course, our, our massive Jubilee 45 uh, um, uh, turntable, that we will call it the Master Jubilee, um, double plinth, uh, thicker platter, um, outbound, outbound uh, engine, the same, the same uh, construction uh, with, a, with a rubber belts, even more sophic sophisticated motor control with a, a digital analog board but with the optical uh, control, which is even finer from the resolution uh, than, than on the, on the Tachy meter, on the Tacho uh, speed control. Followed by a new tone arm um, in 10 inch and 12 inch. This is going to be the Unity, because we have the Unify, Universal, then, and we have the Unity. This tone arm, this is still prototype, has a, a monocoque carbon tube, um, it, we will have a, a multi-stranded aluminium, which we will use, which is very light. Uh, many say it's, it's being used in the air industry. We say it's being used in the space industry. <laughs> oh, it's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a unipivoted magnet uh, stabilized, so, so it's not wobbling. Now it's wobbling a little bit because uh, the uh, weight finish is not... There is a special tilt which you have in uni pivot tone arms and, and this design is made that there's no wrong tilt anymore during, during uh, the, the movement. Of course with a fine micro uh, set you can even adjust during, during playing. It's a very rigid construction but extremely light. This was made by a Greek artist and uh, Dinos, our dealer, um, uh, presented it to me last night. So I thought I've, I have to place it. Mm, that's cool. But that's really, that's really uh, unique. And here we have the new Diamond uh, Jubilee MC cartridge. This is uh, the hardest body material on the planet. Uh, diamond is the hardest material. This material is the second hardest. Um, what is it? It's, a, it's a, a coming out of the medical industry. I cannot tell you the name exactly. The material currently we call it. Uh, we have we have not some schön name dafür. What is the name about that? It's called Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Cross. Blue. No. Um, you want you want to see my office? No. No. Here we have a, a pure. The purest <laughs> silver which we could get. It's a pure cable, specially made uh, as a 45 edition for analog and digital sources. Um, it's it's really expensive because <laughs> the material itself silver. Is, yeah. is. But um, 
uh, we think it's it's one of the purest, best materials uh, for signal um, uh, for the signal path, and um, yeah, it took us five years to to come up with this cable uh, from the from the design and from the manuf manufacturing. Uh, a lot of silver went went uh, into the uh, testing machines. <laughs> Das ist leider typisch mit diesen Sofen. Das ist das Einzige, was auch bleiben wird. Ja, extra. So, this is Magus. Franconian Magus. 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 Aber nicht Söder. Hm? Söder. No, no, no. He's much better. And he's hard working. No, I think our private minister today is okay. He's hard working. No, I think I think our prime minister today is okay. He's Sometimes maybe he's his um, <laughs> time is running. Um, time is running. Enjoy. I just I just have to to get the, the first alcohol. Uh, I see you downstairs at the at the bar. Okay. See you. I had some sound problems with the uh, setup before, so I'm coming through the factory again just by myself here. So this is one of the machine shop here. Here's, uh, this is the serious machine shop where we were, we were before. I think it's kind of good coming through alone because there aren't a lot of people here now. And you can see they've got a lot of money invested in CNC machining. Some of the stuff that gets done here, not all of which is for them. Of course, once you get this kind of machinery investment made, you might as well uh, do outside contracting, which is what a lot of the companies do. Makes complete sense. This is shipping. This is where they package stuff to send out. There's a lot of stuff here going out. More stuff going out. Going to the U.S. of A, a lot of this, all of this is going to the U.S. of A. So this is where they uh, put together the concept turntables. It's been in production for quite some time. You don't see this stuff when you see the finished product. You don't see what goes in. But the special model has beautiful wood finish. Here's some more in various states of production. There's subplatter, motors, and pulleys. There's a Panzerhold chassis for the Jubilee series, I believe. This, this is the uh, Styrofoam Canyon. Damping sheets. There's a tiny little steel balls in each of those chambers <clears throat> that's enclosed. It adds weight. It also absorbs energy. Turns the uh, turns the vibrations into heat. This one's got the top plate put on, and there's another sub chassis. Reference Jubilee, limited edition of 250. Of course, no, no one's here working now. They're all recreating. And they're also, there's workshops going on right now while I do this. Uh, they're doing these, letting people build their own. That looks like the bearing for the big turntable, or one of the big turntables. Here's a wall of chassis. Uh, 
is a workshop going on here. Here's one of the big, the big clear audio statement turntables. You take like a mini bottle level. You can put this on the head shell. This is tricky for this one because there's just a screw to put it. Mm -hmm. Some bigger head shells have more surface to put the, the tube. This is the Macintosh room. This is where they're building the smaller Macintosh turntable. This is the tone arm construction. This is where in the workshop people that are here can build a tone arm. Let's hope it doesn't get sold to anybody in the public. They've got a lot of different models. <laughs> we never, I don't care how experienced you are in visiting factories, you never, you can never appreciate what goes into these things when all you've seen is a finished product. Even, even for the most basic product. All right, now we're in the cartridge department. They build a lot of different stuff here, and here's one from a ranch that they build. And this woman's job is to polish silver. Uh -huh. She polishes the silver. And I spare nicht Zeit, that's the last Geld. Yeah, yeah, klar. Yeah, yeah, For me, it's egal, how much it costs. Yeah. So the matches are there just to show you the size? Yes, the tiny. exactly. That's the needle and the gold, gold coils that we actually do right behind here. Right. And this is the rubber. Um, oh, the damper. Yeah, the damper that's in between the coils. Normally, it's missing on this piece, but. Yeah, they have a lot of records here too. I always, uh, when I go to factories and I see uh, no records, and they make turntables, or no records and they make phono preamps. Okay, for five hundred dollars, what record is that? What record is that? That's right. It's the Beastie Boys. Is it? Of course it is. Pull it out. Uh, yes, and it's a some kind of UK pressing. You know what's amazing? I forgot my hair stuff. That I, I'm getting over a cold, and I forgot my hair stuff. I don't do. I've never done that. I forgot my hair stuff. That's without stuff in my hair. It's not. It's not me. Oh, there's a workshop in here too. Secret Garden R&D list. Can we sneak sneak in here? But you lose the precision of speed control and you lose the torque, which is quite important for me to have a very high torque drive for the, for the turntable to keep these dynamics up. They got a couple of studios here, an A8, two A80s. And then they've got a 
a Neumann lathe here. I don't know which one this is. I think this is one of their, one of these days we'll get it all working kind of things. This is the record collection. This is pretty impressive. This is all classical music. And uh, this is a new Clear Audio Concept turntable that they're gonna come out with soon. That has a, uh, the second pulley here is a tachometer. So it will adjust the speed. It seems like a nice addition to the line. And then there's a Master Jubilee coming. This looks really, really nice. With a new, a new arm. It says this is the first one of a total of 45. So they make one for every year they've been in business for a total of 45. And that looks really, really nice. It's uh, right to the end of the... Yeah, yeah, this I is know. an entryway. Oh, the only place we didn't we didn't get to tour, I missed it, was the, uh, I have it in the other video, was, this is the first loudspeaker they made right here. Here's the old Volkswagen bus, fitted with a special turntable. Oh, all right, well, you know what I like. What's amazing in my world is looking at this old Dodge, that was like, to me, that was one of the ugliest cars ever made. Look how ugly that is. But today, that's what cars look like today. That car was like so, f you know, Virgil Exner, who designed these old Dodges, had what he called the forward look. He was right. With those big lights sitting on the side there, uh, in there and two grills and all the rest of that stuff. That's what cars look like now. He was a, he was a genius, but that's amazing. Okay, that's totally off subject. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but what the heck. Why not? Why not talk about it? Okay, now I'm going to get out of this thing. We're going to walk along the side of the building. You can see how big this place is. It's very impressive. And there's a second, whole second building in another location. They, they build other parts of this company's products in another location that we're not going to go see. But sometimes when you think, how can they make so many products in one company? And then you come here and you see how they do it. I, you know, I think the coolest part about when you come to Germany is that you're, you're in a factory, but then look. Now we're back in Party Central. This is where the party is happening. Hey there. I'm still here, so I'm good.